Hey everyone, Destroyer here. Today we're going to be looking at the Caldwell Lead Sled Solo. This is designed for rifles with the extended magazines that are going to not work and fit properly in your standard gun rest. The rifles I'm talking about are your AR style rifles, your hunting rifles that have the box magazines. Those types of rifles this will actually accommodate. So to make it to where it would accommodate rifles with detachable box magazines, the supporting arm actually swings out away from where the shot or the weights would be held. Yes, on this model you can actually use lead shot, steel shot, or you can use free weights. One thing to note, if you are sighting in an AK, you will want to use something that holds less than 20 rounds. When I was sighting in my AK, both the 20 and 30 round mags would not allow the AK to sit properly in this rest. If you did something like a 15 or the 10 rounders, you'd be fine. The nice thing is they gave you a lot of options for ways that you can adjust this. You can adjust the elevation of the support arm using this knob here. You can also adjust the height of the forearm rest. And you can also adjust the height of the whole rest itself using these two knobs here. It gives you a nice recoil pad so it'll save your shoulder for extended shooting times. And for many of you, if you're anything like me, you really want to have that accuracy. But it's really hard on rifles to eyeball the accuracy just by doing three, five, ten shot groups and adjusting accordingly. With this, it makes it a lot faster and much more accurate. So, just to show you kind of how this operates, let's go take a look at this bad boy in the field. So we're going to start out by trying the Ruger 1022 on the Caldwell Lead Sled Solo. So as you can see on a 22, the recoil is nothing. Wasn't all that surprising. It's not really going to do anything in the way of making this move. So that's good. Let's test out the 308, see how much this kicks. Yeah, that moved it quite a bit. The elevation staying constant, but obviously your position laterally is shifting because of the higher recoil. As you can see, I keep having to shift the mount again every shot. The reason for this is that while you can reduce the recoil, eventually you're going to be firing a high enough caliber that it's not going to be able to completely compensate for the full amount of recoil, and so inevitably the mount will have to shift a little bit. Despite that, it's still an excellent mount, and it still cuts down on a lot of time and a lot of guesswork when it comes to sighting in rifles and making sure that not only are the iron sights correct, but are the optics correct, both red dots and scopes. So if you're looking to cut down on your time and increase the accuracy of your rifles, 
I would recommend getting one at some point if you plan to own more than one rifle. Thanks for watching. This is Destroyer, signing off.